Here's my full and honest review of the Goldie Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies or the Goldie ACV Gummies for short. Oh, hi, Mac. I bought these with my own money to test them out. They did not ask me to make this video. So let's jump right into the review. I hate YouTubers that ramble on. You probably wanna know, are they worth it or not? I'm just gonna say it, no. I think these are worth it and I don't think you should buy them. Here's why. Now, first off, I guess jumping into the gummy, there are 60 gummies in each bottle. This is about 20 bucks. But being honest, there's two main reasons why I do not like this gummies. First off is the serving size. So for each gummy, it contains 500 milligrams of apple cider vinegar. Here's one review on Amazon. Then someone did the math out and said, wait, to have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, you need to have 20 nine gummies this is another review someone posted saying obviously the first ingredient is sugar not the best in addition there's only 500 milligrams of apple cider vinegar like i said and for weight loss it's suggested to have 15 to 30 milliliters of acv that's only half a milliliter when you're talking about the apple cider vinegar content per gummy which means a bottle lasts you maybe every two days just to get the actual amount of the apple cider vinegar you need to get the benefits. So first off, if you're looking to have apple cider vinegar in your diet, you're trying to add it into your diet for whatever reason, just get the actual bottle and the actual liquid. I know sometimes it's a bit rough, which makes the gummies a little bit more appealing, but if I were you, just do it as a shot, try to put it in a smoothie, maybe drizzle it on a salad. Another big pro tip is take like a big glass of water, put the shot in the water, stir it around, and then maybe sip it throughout your day. I think that's your best bet as opposed to just getting these gummies, just being honest. You know, these are a complete waste of money, not to mention you're gonna get a ton of sugar and all the other stuff that's in these gummies. Now, the second reason why I do not like them, even though I bought them and I want to try it out, I believe in testing everything before I actually review it, is apple cider vinegar. Now, I know some people are not gonna be happy about what I'm about to say, but I believe in science and I tried out their ashwagandha gummies and I love them. Want to say that as a side note, I love the ashwagandha gummies. They also have KSM 66, which is a special type of ashwagandha. There's been a tremendous amount of scientific studies on ashwagandha and all the health benefits. And in addition, a lot of scientific studies about KSM 66. And I do truly love their ashwagandha gummies. However, when it comes to apple cider vinegar, there's not a lot of actual scientific back studies about the benefits of apple cider vinegar. And I know a lot of people are probably disagreeing with me, but when I went to do a ton of research for this video about apple cider vinegar, there are very little studies demonstrating actual benefits of apple cider vinegar, especially the number one being weight loss. However, and I think this is important to mention, if let's say you are taking apple cider vinegar and you're like, Mark, I've actually lost weight by taking it. You're wrong, that's not true. It's mostly the placebo effect but, and I think, I think this is really important, the placebo effect is one of the most powerful and one of the healthiest ways to achieve a given result, especially when you're talking about something like weight loss. So being honest, if let's say you are taking apple cider vinegar, it's helping you lose weight, you're feeling healthier throughout the day, keep doing it. You know, there are a lot of factors that come into play with the placebo effect. And in addition, when you think you're changing one thing in your diet, it's actually usually a lot of other stuff. So for most people, when they take apple cider vinegar, they're like, wow, I'm losing weight. It's not really just that. You also cut back on Oreos. You also are working out more. You're eating healthier, et cetera, et cetera. It's not just the apple cider vinegar, but in your mind, you think it has to be that. When in reality, it's really the fact that you change your entire lifestyle, the apple cider vinegar just happens to be there and it's not really doing too much. I believe in what science can prove and I believe in having a back study. Like I said, the ashwagandha gummies, there's a lot of science to show tons of benefits behind ashwagandha and especially their gummies. Apple cider vinegar, not so much. So like I said, I don't believe in these gummies at all. I don't think you should buy them. In addition, I'm not the biggest believer in apple cider vinegar as well. Based off the lack of scientific research that has been done, most of the studies have actually been done in mice. So that's why it's a bit fuzzy and it could translate. You never know. There could be some studies in the future that say, hey, apple cider vinegar actually has benefits. But at least at the exact time of this video, there's very few back studies, if at all, about any health benefits of apple cider vinegar 
vinegar. That being said, if you are looking to get apple cider vinegar and you're like, hey Mark, I'm gonna have apple cider vinegar anyway because one of my friends suggested it or there's a new study that came out about it, just get the actual real liquid, the gummies, not worth it.